I'm Paul Isbala, uh, and these are my tarot lessons. I'm the founder of supertarot.co.uk and utarot.com. So this is the third kind of lesson in, in the tarot. In the first one, we looked at um, some of my tarot decks and why I don't use them and why I use the Toth Tarot in particular. Uh, the second lesson, I look, it's an introduction just to the Toth Tarot deck. Hopefully you've got your tarot deck or you're getting it. Um, so we can play along with the lessons. So it's easier to learn about tarot um, if you have some books to read about them. And I've got a selection here of some books. Um, I do a shameless self-promotion on my own as well while I'm about it. Why not? And so we can look at some of the books about Toth Tarot. There are not a lot, thankfully. So the most important, first and most important is Alistair Crowley's own guide to the Book of Toth. Okay. And this is it, the Book of Toss. So there's a different version. Um, this is the one I see, Alistair Crowley there, and he's got on the cover. He's got the Universe card. Okay, it's well worth getting. On the back, there's, a, there's, there's, there's the God Toss. Okay. Now I I was brought up in Essex in England, and when I started a vague interest in tarot, I was about 14, I think. There's not many books about tarot or anything in those days, and I've always said Toss. Um, some people, some people say Thoth because it's T H O T H. Um, some people say Tahuti. I always say Toth. So that's what you're going to hear. Now, this book is not an easy read, um, and the way they printed the book, they got some of the illustrations back to front and all sorts of things. But it is the guide if you really want to learn about. The Todd Tarot and what Alistair Crowley was about. Um, there's so much in this book. You know, I've been reading it on and off for 20 years, and I still find new things of interest in here. You'll be well blessed to get this one, and it will help you to understand better the Tarot. The problem with the book is that there isn't a kind of section of uh, meanings of the cards. You have to kind of hunt around for it, which is no bad thing actually. Anyway, um, in many places, you kind of think you know the basics anyway. But it gives away a lot of secrets in here too, so there's tons and tons to learn in here. This is one of the most important ones. It's called 777 Now the Kabbalistic Writings of Alistair Crowley. Okay. Um, now, Crowley didn't actually write this. <laughs> he stole it from um, other people in the Golden Dawn um, and put his name upon it. Plagiarism was a is a well accepted kind of thing that goes on, still goes on today. Um, it's a little bit dry, the uh, I'll show you, but it's full of tables and things like this. It's like, it's just full of these cross-references between the, the tarot cards, the tree of life. It's a, it's a compendium. And the interesting thing is that encased in here are the totality of the Golden Dawn system of magic. So if you have this book, you're well on the way to understanding uh, the way the tower really works. Okay, um, Frida, uh, not Frida Harris. I forgot her name now, but she 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 commented that the whole, she was shocked to find the whole of Gordon Dawn teaching in here. Good book to get because you'll see and understand a lot of what Crowley's about. And in my experience, the Book of Toth is the best book on tarot deck that describes the Golden Dawn system anyway. Not the golden, the golden dawn tarot decks don't do it because they hide the information because they're secrets. You're not supposed to know. But when Crowley created the book of Toth, of course, he left the organisation 50 years earlier, and he didn't care what he said. So those are the two ones that are very much the, the core structure and basis of the Toth tarot deck. Now here's Toth tarot deck by Lon Milo Duquette. Now Lon Milo Duquette is the chubby, acceptable cuddly bearded face of the OTO, Ordo Templis Orientalis, which is Crowley's martial organization. It's a workmanlike book, okay? It's pretty dull, uninspiring. He spends a whole chapter on um, the back of the card, um, which is, uh, here's the back of the card, on the whole symbol of the uh, this cross here, okay? There's a lot of symbolism and understanding that goes into this. This is the kind of capitalistic stuff. But you won't find any secrets in, the, in his book because he's a man with the OTO, and the OTO don't want to give away the secrets, do they? It's, it's an interesting book, though, to have a look. Right, the Toth Companion, okay? The Key to the True Symbol of Meaning of the Toth Tarot by Michael Azaris, nothing. 
Um, this is a pretty good book, actually. Um, I would recommend it. The, the way um, that you, the traditional way of learning the Golden Dawn was to was to create your blank set of seventy-eight tarot cards to which you would add the symbolism and the knowledge as as you developed and grew. And so, what nothing books really does is kind of give more insight and in interpretation into the meaning of the symbols on the cards. It's well worth getting. It's a much better book than. Um, Lomala de Ket's Top Tarot. Okay, now the shameless self promotion. I've got to do it, haven't I? Um, this is my first book. There we go. Tarot and the Magus. Open the key to divination, magic, and the holy guardian angel. Bolu's Bilo, SP. Um, it's my first book, and the book is really about um, the first stage of the opening of the key spread, which is what my tarot courses are about. It's learning this powerful system of divination. Um, when I was writing the book, the publisher wanted me to write more about the cards themselves, which I did. Um, the book itself is in 11 chapters, not 22. Um, and that's, so we ended up pairing the major cards from the full to the universe going through to the center, which brought out a lot of interesting things. And although the book starts out, it's supposed to be a book for people, for beginners to learn, I had a lot of powerful spiritual and magical experiences during the writing of it. A lot of spirits turned up and all sorts of things. So there's so the, the, the front half of the book is, is for beginners and it gets more complex towards the end where I'm writing about magic and spirituality and all kinds of things like this. So this is my first book. Um, if you go on Amazon.com, I think it's about $250 this book costs now. $250. Um, it was only $12.99 or $13.99 when it $14.99 when it came out. Um, if you want a tip, there might be still a few copies on Amazon.co.uk at the central price of $14.99. It'll cost you a bit from packaging, but it'll be a brand new copy and it won't cost you $250. Bucks, okay? So this is the book that really defined. This whole book is about one tarot reading that I did, and I included in the book. Um, it's actually all about those cards and how I interpret them and how the different layers of meaning that come out. And now this is I finally it's my latest book, Beyond the Celtic Cross: Secret Techniques for Taking Tarot to an Exciting Level. Hollis Barlow and Catherine Chapman. Um, this is a collaboration, obviously, and again, this is this book is about only about um, ten or eleven cards in here. We have only ten or eleven cards we discuss. And what I what happened was that Catherine emailed me. She's having a problem with the tower reading, and she asked me to help her. And um, she wants to know about a new love in her life, usual kind of thing. And the future card was the Knight of Wands, I think, and um, which is good, new start, but it's reversed. And the the outcome was the Knight of Discs. I can't remember now. But um, so the two outcomes, one obviously represented her ex, the right way up, and the new one sounds more exciting, reversed. And there's a classic conundrum. Well, which is going to win? So she emailed me this this thing, and I I, I go and I sort of short reading, but I realised that she'd done it in the form of the Celtic Cross which is here, these are the cards basically. And it left me with a situation of how on earth do I turn that into the way I do it. So I turn it back into a string of cards in a sequence and um, started reading the cards that way around. And I kind of mentored her through the process. And um, so a half an hour reading ended up about six months and we ended up writing this book. And um, the publisher fortunately liked it and uh, we eventually got it published. So these, this is the beginning book, if you like. it's like the prequel to um, Tower and the Magus. Okay, Tower and the Magus. That's the first book, but this one here, this is the prequel. Uh, it's easy to get at the moment, and it's it's much more accessible than the first book. Uh, the first one I was kind of making a statement about how clever it was, and this one here is more transforming yourself from someone who knows about the Celtic cross spread into using the powerful techniques that are in the opening of the key spread. So, uh, so get this book, and um, I may well actually sort of do some of the exercises and show you how to do some of these things. So now we've got an idea of what books you can use to read the tarot and follow along with my system of reading the tarot cards with the opening of the key.